It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Early season's greetings, NBA fans. I'm Ernie Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Got uh, Shaquille O'Neal here. Got Kenny the Jet Smith here uh, for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the New York Knicks as they go up against the Toronto Raptors at Air Canada Center. Checking out Toronto, coming off a loss in the first game of the season, they'll no doubt be anxious to put tonight's contest in the win column and avoid an 0-2 start. Well, the Raptors have a good collection of scores that can create their own shot when they want. If, if you're the coach, Shaq, and the game's on the line, which Raptors get in the ball? I'm going with DeMar DeRozan. He can create space with his athleticism and get a shot off against anybody, Ernie. Well, I'm going with Kyle Lowry. He's shown time and time again that he has the ability to knock down shots and big ones at that in tough situations. I'll take either one. That's, uh, that's for sure. Almost game time. We'll see you later. Joining us live for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. For the Raptors, happy to be here in Toronto right now in the midst of a nice homestand. This, their first look at this year's New York squad. In a season ago, Clark, they won the matchup, winning three and losing just one. Yeah, two. Toronto. Harris comes in for Ross. And a new group in for the Knicks. Booker, he's checked in for Lopez. Beasley comes in for Porzingis. Tyler Johnson, he's checked in for Aaron Aflala. And Freak subbed in for Rope. And New York, looking at who they've got. Freak, he's in at the point. Beasley out there with Trevor Booker. Then it's Johnson, and it's Anthony in at the small forward. Now here's Freak, now recovering. It's stolen by DeRozan. Fast break, Toronto. DeRozan leading the charge. Zeller dishes to Lowry. And it's Freak with the rebound. Knicks trail by four. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Dwayne Casey. Coach told me they're hoping to overcome the problems a player like Carmelo Anthony presents to defenses. He said Melo's combination of strength, size, and skill set make it very difficult to keep him from scoring each trip down the floor. What he is hoping for is to throw different looks at Melo to keep him out of his rhythm and to try to work from there. And thank you for that, Doris. Now here's Freak. D right on him. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. And the missed free throws starting to be an issue. Yeah, they're scuffling at the line. Struggling is a better way to put it. But you like the fact they're getting there. Now it's just a matter of knocking them down. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for DeRozan. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And Joseph kicks to Harris. Shoots off the screen. And that one's good. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Green against Harris. Green, the pass to Freak. New York, no good that time either. Toronto leading by seven. Here's Meeks. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Raptors have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. A year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. Teams will make substitutions. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. And New York looking at who they've got. Freak in at point guard. 
Anthony is out there with Porzingis. Then there's Robin Lopez, and it's a Flello in at the two guard. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition, to attack when it's there, because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor. Feeds it to Ross. Lows and dishes to Zeller. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Lock at six, and the foul called on Freak. That's his first foul. On defense, New York. Eight-point game. Fuller, the pass to Lowry. That's good. Lowry's got four points now in the quarter. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. There's Freak. That's tipped. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort. Overall. And the official whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Raptors. Great hustle defensively through the first half. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Yeah, another thing they've done well, guys, is getting in the passing lanes. They've been active with their hands. Feet have been in good position. And they've come up with a lot of steals. That's making a difference here, too. Just the late reaction there from the defense. He is always going to finish that. Gets to DeRosa. And stolen by Roten. There's Freak. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Freak's got five points so far. Raptors leading by nine. Lowry kicks to Zeller. Back to Lowry. And there's the feed to Ross. Pocket six. Passes it to Fuller. Here's Lowry. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. They shoot two. Yeah, it's going to be on three. It's been a good night for Kyle Lowry. Nine points, and there's a nice number in his assist column as well. He, it really has been, Clark. He's created a lot of open looks for his teammates. Very unselfish play from him today. Good on ball. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've um, they made them off. They can pull advantage at the line. <laughs> I tell you what, nice job making the most of their opportunity. Got a piece of it. Outside the Rosen. And it's off from three-point range. It's not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Freak kicks to Anthony. Offline with his three. For the New York Knicks, they come off a good outing against the Bulls. You know, they played well enough to win. But to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. Roten is just a freak. Here's the three. Toronto grabs the miss. DeRozan's got three rebounds now in this one. There's a screen. The pass to Ross. And again, no good by Toronto. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Shoots from 12. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Roten's got to back down to within single digits for the Knicks. Lowry gets to DeRozan. 102 left in the first half of basketball. Can't hit from the elbow. Pass to Anthony. Down low. Lowry with the ball. And Roten picks him up defensively. The wide open look here for DeRozan. Hits the three-point pop. DeRozan's got seven points here in this quarter. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. 
Now here's Freak, now recovering. Freak passes to Anthony. Three second difference between shot clock and game. The dish still out, unloads from 13. Out to DeRozan. DeRozan can't get that one to fall. Here's Freak. And the three off target. And so we conclude the first half. Raptors lead by 12. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball.